Hey, what's up YouTube? Houston here. And for those of you just finding my YouTube channel, welcome. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and that bell. And for those of you that's been following me and supporting me, salute. And for my faithful pa patrons, excuse me, double salute. Now, today's video, we're talking about the best U.S. bank secured credit cards that offer rewards. Now we're going to be talking about those cards, but the reason that you want to build a relationship with U.S. Bank, because I continue to tell you, you want more money. And one of the things about U.S. Bank, um, they are very good at giving you more money. All right. So when you have bad credit and once you start reestablishing your credit, they don't have a problem with giving you large lines of credit. OK, so that's the reason that I'm talking about this bank. Now, the first card, the U.S. Bank regular secure card, it doesn't offer any rewards. OK, but the reason that I'm pointing it out, because most people are not thinking about rewards they're just thinking about rebuilding their credit right but the thing about it why not try to find a card that you can spend your money plus reward you for being with their financial institution so this here regular uh, u.s bank secure card it doesn't offer that but they do have other cards that we're going to explore now the minimum uh for this here regular card is 300 up to 5,000. All right. So like I said, you don't own, earn any rewards, but it doesn't charge you any annual fee as well. And it takes up to 12 months to unsecure. Now, granted, it doesn't offer any rewards, but it's still better than those um, high risk uh, credit cards that are secured like um, um, credit credit one as well as uh, first premier built building credit with the banks is better than those third party companies okay i'm just telling you off the back because you have more leverage because they have more products to offer you to help you get access to more funding all right now the u.s bank altitude go visa secured card it goes from 300 to 5,000. now i would tell you guys this if you can try to put as much money as you can on your secured card the reason is once it's unsecured that's a very strong uh credit line primary credit line on your credit file all right you guys have to excuse me i'm kind of tired it's been a long day talking but <clears throat> the thing about it if you want to get large larger trade lines then you actually have to show that you have large trade lines on the credit report as well as a low dti debt to income ratio okay so that's the reason that i'm sharing this information with you if you're trying to get larger lines like if you want a five thousand dollar credit card or you want a ten thousand dollar credit card speaking of that i actually have another secured credit card that's i think is even more beneficial than its u.s bank altitude card all right but let's talk about these here cards first like i said with the u.s bank altitude cards uh for every dollar every four four points for every dollar on dining on takeout right and then for two points on groceries two points on gas two points on streaming services one point on other uh, eligible purchases now there's no annual fee and it becomes unsecured up to 12 months so some people do actually get this card unsecured after six months of on-time payments and then your other accounts are up to date now they also give you a $15 annual streaming credit also with this here card. Now the US Bank Visa Secure Cash, the Cash Visa card, uh, the Secured Cash Visa card, excuse me. Uh, again, it's $300 up to 5,000, but they give you 5% five, 5 cash back, okay? This is the thing about a lot of uh, bank credit credit cards, especially secure credit cards, they don't give you cash back. You know, you just get the 
credit card and yeah they'll report it as a trade line but they don't actually give you cash back for actually utilizing that card so that's the reason these uh, u.s bank secure cards are so popular with a lot of people all right and so with that five percent cash back so say that you're paying like your utilities like uh your rent uh tv internet streaming services then two percent cash back um for everything else all right now as the same goes there's no annual fee there's also uh unsecured after 12 months all right now that we talked about the u.s bank cards another thing let me let me back up right here here's what you need to understand about u.s bank u.s bank operates similar to a credit union and like i said because they give you the large line so they have the uh personal and the business side of things all right and so once you enter the business aspect of it, I know some of you all may be trying to become entrepreneurs and get business credit funding. I continue to tell you guys, you don't have to have perfect credit to be, get business credit funding. If you're in the arena between, a, I would say safely, between a 680, 690 credit score, then you definitely can get funding. With some credit cards, uh, business credit cards and stuff, you can get those with a 660 credit score. All right. So just so that you all know that it isn't just um, you have bad credit and you can't get any more funding. The thing about it, it's all about building a relationship. So if you have a personal account, savings account, a business account, because they also help with internal scoring as well. So if you have direct deposit with US Bank, and then you have a secured credit card, that's helping your internal scoring as well to help you get unsecured credit cards also, all right? Now, let's talk about Navy Federal and rewards. I think this is one of the best cards, and here's the reason why. Because you, instead of paying the $300 deposit, you uh, put down 200, right? But after six months, that 200 turns into a $2,000 unsecured card. The only catch to this is that you actually have to be a member of, of the credit union in order for it to happen. So I have made a video about uh, becoming a member of Navy Federal. So for those of you that's just uh, learning about rebuilding your credit and stuff like that, uh, put a comment below and I'll send you over that video. Now, here's another card that a lot of people like is the discover it secured card and the thing about it uh they match it dollar for dollar with their secured card right so it's a automatic cash back dollar for dollar match on all cash back rewards okay so whatever your cash back rewards amount is with using the discover card that's what they actually give you back okay then when it becomes unsecured usually around six or seven months then you get that security back plus you have the regular credit card as well now one of the things about it um and i forgot to mention about u.s bank discover u.s bank they also use uh fico 8 okay they pull fico 8 this uh u.s bank use fico 8 transunion and it, yes, it is a hard pull. Um, adding adding to that, it is a hard pull. Discover FICO a experience, but they do have a pre-qualifying uh, link as well to where you can possibly maybe get an unsecured card. Like I said, if you have a low credit score, some of the easier credit cards to get is maybe like a student credit card but nonetheless in terms of like secured credit cards these are some of the top credit cards that you want to go after that being said i have one more credit card that i really want you all to see because it's so important this is the secured sable one credit card okay and i made a video on it so if you want to see that video put a comment below all right but here here's the thing about it you have to understand why this card 
is so important. It is about the rewards. This here card, after four months, becomes unsecured. Now, if you're trying to get a, a primary trade line right away to help with getting more of personal credit funding uh, or stronger uh, credit line, then this is the card you definitely want to get. And the maximum amount you can put on it is 10000 Okay, you can put on up to 10000 on this card, but good payment history over four months, this becomes unsecured. So there's no annual fees, no foreign transaction fees, no minimum security deposit. So you, with this card, you can put on it whatever you want. But like I said, I would try to do as much as I can if I have challenging credit and I'm trying to build up my credit score and I'm trying to get strong primary trade lines, then this is definitely one of those cards. This is definitely one of the cards that I would have on my credit file. Now, here's something else I want to add to that. For you guys that um, have a bunch of um, revolving credit, you don't necessarily have to have a lot of revolving credit, okay? The maximum amount, if you're trying to rebuild your credit, secured cards, I would say the maximum amount you probably want to have is three, okay? But I would definitely, if, if possible, I would include disabled secured card because it unsecures much faster. So my favorite would probably be, um, would probably be the Navy Federal, the Sable card, and then the Discover card. Not saying that the U.S. bank card isn't good because they actually give you large lines of credit once it's unsecured, but that would be my top three. And then I would go after the U.S. bank credit cards once my credit is strong enough. Now, in terms of building up credit so it's strong enough, Here's something that you can do that I would definitely tell you if you're trying to build your credit score um, between 25 to 100 points within the next 30 to 45 days, then these are the systems that you want to use. You want to use Grow Credit and Perch because if you're paying subscriptions, okay, so say that you have the secure card. Let's look at this. Let's look at the strategy. You have a secured card. Say that you have the U.S. Bank secured card, okay? You want to use the secured uh, cash visa or the altitude, one of those two, right? Okay, so you have the secured cards. Then you're paying the secured cards with, excuse me, you're using the secured cards to pay your Netflix and Hulu. So now you're getting a trade line from U.S. Bank. Then you sign up with these subscriptions here that you're reporting to. You're getting another, another trade line, okay? Also, adding a pledge loan or credit builder loan, I would tell you, always go through the credit unions um, for those as well, all right? But back to what I was saying about for the trade lines, now you'll have U.S. Bank uh, reporting on all three credit bureaus. You can have Grow Credit and Perch. So you can have both companies reporting the same trade lines on your credit file. Also, you can have Experian Boost uh, reporting that same trade line. Now, I made a video talking about the uh, Buy Now, Pay Later. Uh, starting, in, um, starting in 22, 2022, Equifax. Equifax will start reporting your buy now, pay later. So that's a trade line. They said that trade line should boost your credit score up about 13 points. All right. Now, because a lot of companies are switching over to the FICO 9, adding authorized users will help boost up your credit score. Now you have uh, this extra credit card app. Uh, then you have the One Financial uh, as well. Th both of those you tap those into your business bank account. So whenever you use your debit card to uh, pay anything, they'll take all your and your monthly debit card transactions and report it as a trade line. Extra reports it on the Equifax and the uh, Experian file. Okay. Then you have Boom Pay and Rental Karma. You have Boom Pay, Rental Karma, even Perch. Perch reports up to six months of rent plus utilities. So you have Grow Credit, 
that reports utilities, Perch that reports utilities as well. Okay, but Perch also reports rent. So if you're sharing a rental place with a roommate or something like that, instead of just giving them money, you can sign up with um, plastic and then send them a, a, their payment through plastic using your, your debit card, excuse me, using your secured credit card, right? So then now that actually is a trade line. So the rent that you're paying them, you pay it through your um, secured card. So now there's another trade line. So you're starting to really thicken up this here file because you have all these transactions. So not only are you getting the rewards, but you're getting trade lines as well. Now with BoomPay, uh, they state that they report rent up to 24 months. Rental Karma, I think over a year. But here's the thing about it. The reason you want it, especially if you're an individual, because you may be trying to... Um, not only get your own apartment, but you may be trying to uh, get qualified for a mortgage or something. Well, with the new FHA guidelines showing rental history on your credit file will help you get qualified for a mortgage. OK, so if you have any questions about reestablishing your business credit, your personal credit, you can click in the description and schedule a consultation. Thank you.